Hey, Fabi, what's the camera you have here on our Faro Focus Scanner? Hey, <laughs> Eric, what up? Um, so, yeah, this is the new external camera option uh, for the Faro Focus Scanners. Um, yeah, which make the um, capturing of the data really, really fast. Um, yeah, I got it brand new from the Faro Product Management and I'm allowed to test it. And we will see now um, how it works. Can we test it? We can test it. It's super fast. It's really fast. I need preparation. Okay. <laughs> But why you wear a helmet right now? Yeah, it is very fast. Yeah, it is super fast. Uh, it's better to have a helmet. Like if I ride my motorcycle, I have also a helmet for fast riding. Ah, understand. But we like to check it. And if you are interested, if you need a helmet to use the new camera option, or you can do it without, then watch this episode. Yeah, guys, um, um, my colleague uh, Fabian, uh, I think spent yesterday some hour to test this. Did you can explain me more what we see here, what items we have? Yeah, right. Um, so we got a panoramic camera on top of the Faro Focus Scanner. Um, this panoramic camera is the Ricoh Tita Z1. It's um, yeah. It's a customer product. It's a customer product. You can get it everywhere in every online shop. Um, And um, yeah, it's connected over an accessory base to the scanner directly, so it makes the capturing of the data automatically. The, the scanner um, yeah, sees the camera and can trigger it. And you can choose them from the menu. Right, right. Ah, okay. you can choose between internal camera and panoramic camera then. Um, yeah, it makes the uh, capturing of the photos uh, much faster. And um, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I can explain you a little bit right. more what the idea. Uh, the Faro guys told me this is a compromise between uh, speed and accuracy. Uh, for the people who know already the focus scanner, now we have this very nice internal camera that's sitting here, like uh, on this side where we have the uh, the laser is on the same uh, optical center. We have the same optical center with the middle of the mirror, and this gives you. Uh, very low parallax, that is just the, what technical is the lowest was possible but you have a little bit the disadvantage that uh, you need uh, the, um, first you scan and after that you need just the mirror running to different camera positions to get these uh, camera panorama picture and that took a little bit time because you have to move the scanner and for this one is now the additional option this camera make one shot, two seconds and you have one panorama image And of course, now you would see also from the image the other part of the housing. And this is the recommendation from Faro that you can do twice pictures or four pictures and then you can calculate it out. But if you have only two seconds for one shot, you know, two seconds, seconds to maybe one minute, one and a half minute right. camera, um, this is yeah, much so faster. The actual uh, settings with an internal camera shot um, yeah, would um, at least be uh, at about three minutes. A scan, um, scan, scan and camera. Scan and camera, internal camera. And uh, with the panoramic camera, we can reduce it um, for about one minute and 20 seconds, uh, or two, one minute and 20 seconds, and then he's ready to do a new scan. Okay. So did, you, did we want to show this to the people? We can we, show this. Yeah. Um, I can start it. It's, um, yeah, it's um, for the a resolution of 12 millimeters of 10 meters. Also for 10 the meters. Faro uh, people, 1.8 we have now. Yeah. It's, you know, if you're really indoor and you like to have low resolution scans, yeah. we sh this was some of our customer that, that uh, did. Mm. Uh, we choose this 1.8 and two, uh, two, two panoramic pictures. Shots. And then we show it now live, how it works. Right. Um, so a present start. Um, so yeah, the time is running. Um, and you will see that the measurement time from the laser scan is the most, uh, is, is a little bit longer than uh, the, the, the panoramic shots. Before, with an internal camera shot, the camera shot of this internal camera would be the longer time. So, yeah, we have a real, real fast at scan. First, at first, for the people, they know, we do now the laser scan, also the, the mirror is running, the laser goes everywhere, and we do a 180 degrees uh, scan on both sides. Yeah. Now, we, uh, you have to listen. So the laser scan is over? Yeah, now we have to listen. That was the first picture, was done. Right. Now he's turning into zero position. And in this, the guys told me, he actually measured the inclusimeter. The, the, the scan have a very high inclusimeter. He yeah. used this now for measurement that you get out also the parallaxes. That you know, 
And that's a second. And now he say, uh, pre-processing, and now we are able to move. Right. That's what's all. Now you can take the scanner, put it to the next uh, position, and uh, if he's ready, you can start directly the new scan. Um, we don't do a research, but I believe with this 1.8 resolution, what is maybe the lowest technique, not, not, not the fastest, but what my, some customer use with the camera option, I think it should be the fastest option to have tripod scanner with cameras together. If you like to compare to other products on the market, you have to maybe uh, choose to 1.4, 1.5 resolution. And we, then we're thinking we don't do an excellent research because it's part of the limit. I think we are yeah. definitely on the same speed, maybe a little bit faster, but we don't know it exactly because also the time where they captured the scans or what is captured on your display is different from each scanner. This is not really comparable. But as I said in the beginning, it's really fast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is fast. It is, it is really fast. As I said, there's this option with you can do one point, what we say, 15, one point 30 uh, with the two cameras. Right. Um, uh, I think it's definitely super fast. Something over a minute. And um, yeah, we will show you now the handling um, with the scanner, with the panoramic camera and show you some results of the point clouds and yeah, have fun. I have, I have one extra, you told us, but maybe they don't listen. You have already the option, if you have it on the system, you can choose between the internal and external camera. You can, during your scanning set, you can choose. You can say, I want to have quick photos. I want maybe have these more high quality photos. You have the, the total option. I think it's also something nice. Yeah. In total, before we started, I think it's definitely a cool tool for existing Faro users and, and people that are, will be new Faro users. I think it's definitely a nice uh, um, accessory for your scanner. Of course. All right, have fun to watch.